This is a quick look at the new features in Machina Software version 2.6. It's a free update for all Machina owners. And what it does is it brings some of the features that were previously only available to owners of Machina Jam hardware, and it brings those to other Machina hardware products in the range, including Studio, Mark II, and Micro. So the first thing that it can do, which is really cool, is it can send MIDI out now. It can send MIDI notes and CC data out to external hardware. So if I look here in my software and my preferences, what I've done is I've added some devices to my new user library. And this will be a download that you can get from the website and it's called External Instruments. And when you add that folder to your library, what you will then find is if you go into your user area, you have some presets here for common hardware devices like X-Bass, Volca Beats, things like that. And of course, I imagine that NI will add more of these as time goes on. So to see how it works, if I just go back into my uh, main view here, and here is my list of sounds, I can select sound one, now I've got a synthesizer hooked up via a MIDI interface. Actually, my synth is my MIDI interface in this case because it's an all-in-one box. But what you would normally do is you would just go into Machinist Preferences, MIDI section, and check that your MIDI output is now being sent to your MIDI device. Now, in my case, that is a Zio synth, which is both a MIDI interface and a synth. In your case, it might be a regular MIDI interface hooked up to a hardware synth or drum machine, any kind of external hardware. So I'm sending MIDI output to my Xyosynth. In MIDI mode here, I have it set to master. So it's going to send, uh, it's going to send MIDI out. If I close that, and I come back into my sound section here and the MIDI section, I see that in destination now, I can choose to send out to my Xyosynth. I'm going to send on channel one. I've got my Xyosynth set up to receive MIDI. So now if I go into my piano roll, and I choose to paint some notes in and play back. So that's actually being triggered externally on an external instrument. It's being triggered from Machina and it's being routed back in. So I could sample that if I wanted. I could have it routed into my DAW or something like that, which is pretty cool. Another thing that now comes to the other hardware members of the family are some of the uh, randomization features in Machina. And the way you access these is from the hardware. If you go into, if you press shift and variation, you can see that I get various different ways to randomize and humanize my notes. So I can choose things like humanize the part and within that, I can then go and apply those changes. I can apply different things like different velocity ranges, time shifts. If I was to go back and say, what I actually want to do is randomize these notes. Again, I can go in and I can say, I want to set a probability of notes triggering. I want to set a note range like this. I want to set velocity ranges, note count, how many notes do I want? Uh, I can also say note length, note counts, things like that. And if I go back and apply this, then what you will see is that it bongs in a load of notes for me. I could change it again. I could say, actually, that's rather too many notes. So I wanted to go back to just two notes, apply that and play it. Or change again. And you could use that to make monophonic patterns or chords or beats or anything you like. It's just a nice way to import data automatically. Another nice thing that I can do is I can now send MIDI CCs out of the software to any MIDI triggered hardware. And the way that that works is if I go down into my CC area here, I can add a new one. 
I can right click and I can choose something like mod wheel. I can then use my painter tool to paint in different values like this. And when I play back, you should hear that happening. <laughs> And remember that's all being triggered externally on my MIDI hardware. You also get a few other cool things, uh, like you can now change a note's pitch, velocity, length, swing, and position directly from the Machina Jam hardware via the step sequencer, and also modulate parameters like changing reverb depth, adjusting your plugins, or tuning things uh, directly from the hardware. So that's just a quick roundup of some of the stuff that's new in Machina 2.6. The ability to integrate it into your wider hardware studio will be very welcome. So it means it's no longer constrained to being entirely in the box. You can now control your external synths, drum machines and other gear.